Hi. 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 <laughs> okay, so we're going to make pie crust and it's a special gluten-free flour and it's the good kind that makes good pie crust. Okay. I'll just read you the recipe. 1 cup plus 2 tablespoons flour. 3 tablespoons sugar. Six tablespoons butter, one egg, and one tablespoon ice water. Okay, so those are the ingredients. Hi there. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to mix your dry ingredients together, and that's the flour and the sugar. So there's one cup plus two tablespoons flour, and then there's three tablespoons sugar. And so I'll just show you what that is. I'm using I'm using a food processor. I don't know if you're going to have a food processor at Bill's house, but if you do, it makes it easier. If not, just put it in a bowl and mix, stir this together with a spoon. Okay, so I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to turn this on. Okay, so all we're going to do is just pulse this for like three seconds or stir it by hand, your flour and your sugar. Then that's done. Then you're taking six tablespoons of unsalted or salted butter. I like salted. Same. So, six tablespoons, one stick of butter is eight tablespoons. You're going to do two tablespoons less than that. So, six tablespoons. And when you add it, you're going to add it in slices. You're not going to add the whole stick. So, I'm using a food presser. However, you are probably going to have to use the pastry cutter that I sent you. And I have a pastry cutter here. Um, I don't have a pastry <clears throat> cutter here. But it, your pastry cutter kind of looks like this. And basically you're going to crumble it like that. You're going to mush it down. It's going to cut into the butter until it's going to turn into crumbs. I'll show you what it's going to look like. If you're using a food processor like I'm using, you're just going to see how I turn it on and off, on and off, on and off. Because you don't want it to turn like a dough. You want it to be really crummy. Oh, let's look over here. This is cranberry sauce. So homemade cranberry sauce. And this is almost done. When um, There's a little bit less runny liquid. So this has been cooking for about a half hour. Let's look at this. Shine the thing in here. Okay, now see how we have some flour and some big chunks? It's not done yet. So you can leave that over here. We're trying, we're aiming for big crumbs that, ooh, look at this. Now look at it. Okay, it's crumbly. You can use a little bit more. All of the crumbs should be kind of big. See like that? That's like a butter crumb. That's what they all should be. Ooh, look at that. There. See, if I do it anymore, it's all going to turn into this dough, and we don't want that because we still have to add the eggs. So, for one pie crust, you're going to add one egg. Doesn't that look delightful? And if you're doing this by hand, you're just going to use your pastry cutter up and down like you're mashing potatoes. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Wow, that dough feels a little bit thin. So I'm just going to add a little more flour to it. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So if your pie crust is really full of flour like that, you can add up to a teaspoon of water. I don't need to, mine is nice and moist, but if you need to, that's how you would um, incorporate everything, is adding adding a little bit of water. Okay, so now we're gonna roll out our dough. And um, the hardest thing is rolling it out so it doesn't stick, so you can transfer it to the pie plate. So this is what I do. I have a layer of saran wrap that I put down first on the granite counter, whatever counter you're using. Granite is nice because it's cold, so it's less likely to stick. And then you dust it with a little bit of flour, because that's going to even help, help it even more. Take out your dough, 
make it into a nice round ball to start. I'm gonna flatten it out. Set it on there. Sprinkle some more flour on top of it. And then, uh, and then spread another layer That's so of smart. saran wrap. And then nothing sticks, okay? You can oh just roll God. it out and you go roll it in different directions and you don't want to push really hard, but you want to make sure like every, every side gets fair play. Like it's all your children and they all get treated equally mm -hmm. because you love them equally. So you're going to roll this way, gonna roll this way, gonna roll this way. Like mom, she doesn't this have way. children. So. so it doesn't really apply really? to her. She doesn't. You have a beautiful piece of pie dough in a nice round shape. You're gonna carefully peel off your top layer of saran wrap, okay? And then, oh, here's my pie plate. That's so pretty. You're gonna set it right next to it, okay? You're gonna lift this up, use this part of your, this long part, kind of slide under and support it, okay? And you're gonna gradually flip it onto it. And if it's not quite right, that's okay because you can you can adjust it a little bit. You can kind of pick it up and move it, right? Then you've got it in there basically in one piece. Now, you can do some tinkering to make it all look nice and tidy, okay? So see how this got folded over? That's no big deal. You just kind of pull it back. No big deal at all. Now you're gonna gently press it along the sides like that, huh? And if you have a hole like that, if you're gonna have some pieces hanging over, just take it and fill the hole. Oh, here's a little hole. Nobody's gonna see that. That's gonna have delicious pie stuff in it, okay? So you're grad you're just really gentle, gentle touch, gonna pat, pat, pat it in. This pie plate. So um it's even around the edges like that. If you have some too much on one side and not enough someplace else, just pull it off and paste it like that. Now make sure the edges, it's kind of all even around the edge. Okay, now you want to make a fluted edge because that makes it look pretty. So you go peace sign, peace sign, and then you're going to do one in the middle, okay? So then you go peace sign, one in the middle. The one in the middle pulls back towards you. And then where this finger was, this finger is going to come and take over, and this guy's going to pull back. And then like that, pull back. Like that, pull back. So you're going to get a nice, pretty little fancy dancy edge. And when that cooks, it looks so pretty. This is what it should look like afterwards. We're gonna start with the filling. We're gonna make a pumpkin pie. We have some pumpkin, and we have evaporated milk, and there's also a recipe on the back. So, it calls for three quarters cup white sugar, which we have right here. Half teaspoon salt, and then pumpkin pie spices. And you can get all of the individual spices or you can get just all of those pumpkin pie spices mixed together, which I do because it's easier. And it's cheaper than buying like five different types of spices. It's cheaper, just get it like this. Um, and then you use one can of this pumpkin, one can of the evaporated milk. All right, so let's get everything. So we're going to mix our pie ingredients now. Two eggs. Beat those up first. You want them nice and beat up. No, you put them And 
And then, you're gonna wanna add your pumpkin pie spices. So I use one and three quarters teaspoons of this, and you gotta pry the top open because you don't wanna sprinkle it, you wanna go in spoonfuls. <clears throat> So we have one and three quarters teaspoons of pumpkin spice. You can add up to two teaspoons. And so you're gonna add that, and then three quarters cup sugar. Then add your, your 15 ounce can of pumpkin, right? I like Libby's, I've always used it. And um, you're gonna add that, mix it in. The last thing you're gonna add and mix together is your evaporated milk. Now it's really important because this stuff settles. It's really important that you shake it for a long time before you add it because the thicker stuff will fall to the bottom and you need that in there for the right consistency. So be sure to shake that up. Gradually pour it in and then it's going to all be mixed up. Once it's mixed up, Oh, don't forget to add a half teaspoon salt. And again, the recipe is on the back of the Libby's pumpkin. Now, once it's all mixed up, it looks like that. Beautiful orange goo. <laughs> and you're gonna pour it into your beautiful pie crust. Look at how perfectly that fits in there huh oh don't drop it in don't drop it in oh you got a little something on the side got a little something there that's okay everything is kind of like fixable with cooking no worries so i want to show you another trick too because um the um crust cooks faster than the rest. So, you want to sort of protect the crust to start out. So take a little bit of foil about that wide. And you're going to gently place it around the crust. So it's got like a little tent around it, okay? So all of these tips I learned from my grandma. my grandma. She taught me how to make pie crust. I usually like to fold these together before I, add, I before I put it on. Twist that around. It really doesn't have to be perfect. I need another little bit of foil. And you basically just want to put a little tent over it so it doesn't get too hot. And I try not to push it down too hard on the pie because it'll ruin that pretty fluting that you did. Okay, so it's just gently resting over it. And the directions for cooking it are on, again, on this can. So, preheat the oven to 425. You're gonna cook the pie at 425 for 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, you're gonna turn the temperature down to 350 and bake for another 40 to 50 minutes. And leave this on right until the very last. The last 10 minutes, you can take it off if the pie crust isn't browned yet. All right. It's cooking. There's our pie. See that? 